I started working in user experience in 1983. So that's 40 years ago, right now, when we are publishing this video. Of course, 1983 may be even longer time ago by the time you get to watch the video, since I certainly hope it'll keep getting views for many years to come. In general, the goal of Nielsen Norman Group's videos is to remain useful for a long time, preferably decades. We don't like to do stuff that's useful only for a few months. In the 40 years of my career, many things have changed, including my hairline. But many things in UX have remained the same. This is because UX is people, as I explained in my video about UX slogan number seven. Most things in UX depend on human characteristics much more than they depend on technology and the human brain hasn't changed over the last 40 years. Actually, we have an entire video series about the top UX slogans like, you are not the user, and more choices, more trouble. Those points have not changed at all. Most of the main user research methods have also not changed. Qualitative user testing using the thinking aloud method remains the number one recommended method. And we run a usability study the same way now as we did in 1983. On the other hand, what has changed is that it has become much easier to conduct test sessions remotely over the internet. There are also many services now that make it easier to schedule test participants and run your studies. These changes mean that Many more companies can now do international usability research and run measurement studies to track their UX metrics over time. I always used to recommend both of these things, but in practice, they were just too expensive. So almost no companies went abroad or tested enough users to collect statistically significant numbers. The biggest change over these 40 years is that the UX field has exploded. There are now 2,000 times more UX professionals in the world than when I started. And I'm not talking 2,000%. UX has grown by a factor of 2,000, which is of course the same as 200,000%. Huge growth. Much of this growth has come from UX going global in a big way. When I started in the field, UX was pretty much limited to North America and Northern Europe with small outposts in Australia and Japan. Now we are worldwide. And Nielsen Norman Group's online UX training events used to attract participants from about a hundred different countries. We've also seen many companies move up the UX maturity scale and take our discipline more seriously. The recommendations for how to achieve great design are about the same as they ever were, but now more companies are actually following our recommendations and doing things right, more or less so. Sadly, most companies are still at the bottom half of the UX maturity scale, but many have moved up. Technology has changed a lot since 1983. Graphical user interfaces have become pretty much the only way to interact with computers. Mobile devices have become ubiquitous so that we always have a UI in our pocket. And artificial intelligence is no longer a joke. These changes mean that user interfaces have a much more dominant place in everyday life, and that billions more people use computers. But what's easy and what's difficult remains much the same. And for sure, the importance of good UX is higher than ever because of this broader use.